What's going on, folks? Today is an exciting day. Well, I got maple syrup. Am I going fishing with maple syrup? That is a big fat... No. Yes, I am. I'm going fishing with maple syrup jugs. What are we making? We are making catfish jugs. That's right. This uh, place where we're fishing has a ton of catfish in it. They want them taken out. So we're making jugs. And that's what we're doing right here. Look, I just cut strips of monofilament, about three foot long. Right here's a jug. What you wanna do is make sure the lid's on, first of all. So you wanna tie a noose knot onto the jug. That way when, it, when the fish gets on it and pulls, it tightens, the noose knot tightens as, as it's pulled. And how do you do that? It's, ba it's basically easy. You take your line right here, and then you come on your tag in. So after you, after your tag in, this is your tag in, and you make a little knot, just like that. Boom, it's that simple. And then I do two. That way it doesn't slide, the tag in doesn't slide through if it pulls too tight. So look, two noose knots, there they are. One's here, one's here, now watch what happens. When I pull the main line that the fish is gonna be on. See how it's coming down, see how it's coming down? It's working its way down, it's got a bunch of twist in it, it's gotta work out. Boom, but right there. That's your noose knot onto our jug. Now, we tied straight shank hooks on the other one, that's all we had. What was that? It's actually my wacky worm hooks. Gamakatsu BT, B10S Stinger, right there. That's what we put on the other four jugs right here. Right here is one, we got the cork in it where we don't hook ourselves. but this one right here, we're gonna use a big treble hook. Why? Because we can. Doesn't really matter what knot you tie on here, I don't think. Most people probably tie a polymer. Uh, I like, Tying the San Diego Jam, uh, real simple, but making jugs, going to catch some catfish. We're gonna clean them and eat them jokers. All right, folks, we got the John boat packed to the gills, and it's time to push. Yes. Never. Alright, I guess the door. Oh man, I had a thought while you sit. Get in there. I see it. Boom. Now, ladies, we'll get in. Hang on. Gus. What happened, son? Grab it. Jerk. Jerk. Bring him over here toward me. Bring him over here toward me. Toward me. Nice work. Chicken liver got on the back. That's our meat right there, son. Okay, you right. <laughs> yes, sir. Folks. Oh. Oh, oh that's, that might be a good one. Grab it. Just hold on to it. This is a bad one. That was a good hook set on that one. Nice saddle boy. So you could live like this? Huh? <laughs> so I'm say, we could run a trot line, huh? Country boy can't survive. Huh? Come on, son. That's what I'm talking about. Let me see the hook. Take it like this. Take it like that. Loop it through two or three times. Just like that. Bloop. So, it don't take long, I'm telling you. We can't even get the third bottle out. Awesome. Bring him over here. Put him in the bucket. Awesome. 
fillet size right there. Yes, sir. Now the fillet size, Gus. Beautiful. Look at that. It didn't have to touch. That's how you do it right there. Gus, you love it? Bring him over. Bring him in the boat. Throw him in the cooler. See it? Nice. That's what I'm talking about. What you think about this jug fishing, son? Huh? It's your kind of fishing. Have we got him one? Loop it. Two. All right, hold it in one hand. Watch it. You're gonna have to wash your hands off. Where you want it? You want it over here by our other spot? Got it, Gus. Bring him out, put him over here in the cooler. Put him in, swing him in the cooler. Yep, swing him in the cooler. Yep, all right, just shut him in there. You got it? I got him. Old dad come through on that one. So we got fish. We got fish everywhere, son. Fish everywhere. Look, I barely had him too. Barely had him. This one still got the liver on it. Perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Mess up my net. Got uh, chicken livers. Put a bunch of worms on there. Throw it. No. All right. That's going to work, I think. Do this. Yeah, man. I'm going to put it on there where I can smell it. Got to get down in there. There we go. See all them worms? Look at that. Tore it up, didn't he? Huh? Some action packed jug fishing. I mean, have you ever seen action packed jug fishing before? Huh? Never. Never. And uh, we ran out of chicken livers. There's the empty pack. Let's see, what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight catfish right there. Catfish fillets, whole pack, chicken livers, gone. Eight catfish. I think we probably missed what, three or four? Three or four. Now we got the worms out. And they, they were jerking on it, but we'll see what happens. Um, oh, there we go. Look at that. Let's go get it. Got one on. Had a bunch of worms on it. Finally got hooked. This might be a good one, Gus. <laughs> there it is. There it is, son. You gotta grab it, dude. Yeah, bro. Bruh. That's gonna be a $10 line. <laughs> All right, you grab it, dude. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> I got that, Joker. This is a fighter. Man, I'll be hating on the catfish. That's gonna be our supper. Still got the worms. Look at that. Yes. You gonna grab it? Grab it. I see it. Put him in the boat. Put him in the cooler. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. What you think? What you looking for? Okay. Gus, how many? Well, folks, folks, I'm talking about we out here jug fishing, 
and we have caught some. Well, that was number 12. I ran out of chicken livers. They like the chicken livers the best. But um, we made do with some worms and caught three more right after that, I think. Now we headed to the house. We're gonna get them skinned. We're gonna cook them up, eat them. Hey, we'll see y'all in the kitchen. How? What's going on, folks? We're back at the house. Got the fillet knife. Hey, Gus and I went out, did a little jug fishing. We got plenty of catfish. And so we're gonna get them clean right here. They've been on ice, kind of stiff, but we're gonna get us a fillet right here. Real quick like, get these fish done. Go along the backbone, flip it over. Just like so, like that. Mm. Little old filet right there, we're gonna fry it up. Put it in the pan. And you know what I'm gonna do with that? I'm gonna keep that, and that's what we're gonna use for bait next time. Instead of chicken livers, this will stay on the hook, probably get multiple catches. Got a little blood, guts, stuff like that. Hey, it's gonna be nice. We'll catch more crap catfish on the jug. We don't meet. There it is. I'm gonna do the other side real quick, and then you guys will see us in the kitchen. All right, folks, we're back. This is actually working out pretty good. We got some onion rings here that are smelling good. I'm talking about, look at that. Turned out good, nice and crispy. Hold, hold the camera up, pan in there, Asa. Show them out. Yep, all right, back up. Don't get it, don't get it. Hey, don't get the grease on the lens, man. Gotta keep the lens looking good. Come on now. We got our catfish. Back up, Tell! Back up! Put the catfish in the bag. Look, hey, this is the batter we use. First time using it. Don't know what it is. House, what is it? Autry. House Autry. Right there. There it is. We're going to try it. See how it is. See if it tastes. Yeah, but hey, springtime weather. You know, you got warm days, you got cool days, you got warm days, you got cool nights. So we were out there in short sleeves catching catfish. It was exciting. Jugs going over where it was messy. Hey, it's real life Lucas Black. Chicken livers, blood all over the boat. I got to wash the boat. And we made a mess in here. Oh. Uh -huh. We almost caught the whole house on fire. Yeah, I almost caught the house on fire. Cardboard caught on fire. But hey, it's what it is. We got three kids. We're getting after them. Right there. We're going we're gonna to let y'all uh -huh. try to. Oh, they're burning. Uh, all right. That's just, hey, caramelized onion rings right here. You've heard of caramelized onions? Well, we got caramelized onion rings. So, you know what we tell the kids? If you don't like it, don't say nothing about it. Right? Right here's our nice catfish blaze. <laughs> Keep it as simple. We just frying fish. It's about the only way you need catfish. We've tried catfish other ways. It just don't turn out too good. You gotta fry it. You gotta get it hot. You gotta basically. You gotta kill whatever's on the meat. You gotta kill it for it to taste good. So, fry the catfish. You catch a catfish, fry it. Keep it simple. Pan in here and show them this fish, Brian. Get the camera up high. All right. Let's see it, Gus. You doing the taste test? How is it? It's 
really good. Alright, so if you're doing one? I'm doing onion rings. Okay, let's see it. Onion rings are always good. Alright, Asa. Um, catfish with Let's see it, son. Boom. Mm. Who's, Who's gonna say the blessing? Me. Huh? Thank you for this day, and thank you for this meal, and thank you for Dad, Dad, and the first lessons. And thank you for my mom and dad, and thank you for my brothers and sisters, and thank you for my brother and sister. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm. amen. Good prayer, Gus. Thanks. I'm gonna dig in this corn. Mm. Is this corn hand shut? Mm. All right, catfish test. Hey, fried catfish. I know what it tastes like. Gotta have a little dill pickle, a little mushroom. Appreciate y'all joining us. First time doing a little jug fishing. Gus, did you have fun? Awesome. Soon as we set the first jug in, got the or got the second jug ready, dropped it in the water, looked up. There goes the first jug. It's action packed catfish. Get you some chicken livers. Hey. Couple of jugs, monofilament, hook. Go out there and have a good time with your kids. Asa can't wait to go next time. So I don't know why I didn't go. I didn't know they were going to drug fish. Yep. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel. Click the notification symbol. Simple. Click the notification symbol. Hit the like button. We'll see you next time on Real Life with Lucas Black. <laughs>